Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength welcome to a transformative exploration. Today we delve into 11 elements that, if quietly removed from your life, can lead to profound peace and wisdom. This is not just a video, it's an invitation to a journey of introspection and growth. Engage with us, reflect on each insight, and stay with us to the end. Throughout life's journey, you encounter people who, intentionally or not, cause you pain. As a Stoic, how do you navigate this? There's a powerful Stoic principle that comes into play here, the art of moving on without the need for confrontation or justification. When someone disrespects or hurts you, even if they were once a close friend, the Stoic approach isn't to seek revenge or demand explanations. Instead, it's about maintaining your inner peace and focusing on your own growth. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. It's not about ignoring the hurt, but rather choosing not to let it control your actions. There may come a time when this person seeks your support. It's okay to say no if they've broken your trust. You're under no obligation to help. This isn't about holding grudges, it's about respecting your boundaries. As Seneca wisely pointed out, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. By not engaging in conflicts, you are not only protecting your peace, but also allowing time to reveal the consequences of their actions. Taking care of yourself and letting the future unfold is a form of deep self-respect. You're not obligated to maintain connections with those who harm you. Each of us deserves respect and appreciation. By choosing to distance yourself from those who hurt you, you're making a brave decision for your emotional well-being and personal growth. This choice leads you towards a more authentic and fulfilling life. In summary, Stoicism teaches us the value of self-respect, the importance of personal boundaries, and the courage to prioritize our emotional well-being. It's about understanding that our reactions and choices define us, not the actions of others. As you continue on your stoic journey, remember these lessons and apply them to modern life. Respecting yourself and your journey is paramount to living a life true to stoic principles. Let's talk about unnecessary goals. Life has many crossroads, forcing us to make important choices. Some of these align perfectly with your core values, while others, upon closer inspection, might not be as crucial as you once thought. This is a natural part of life's journey, where not every goal we set is destined to be fulfilled. In the spirit of Stoicism, it's essential to approach these unnecessary goals with a quiet resolve. There's no need to announce every change in direction or decision to the world. Instead, move with purpose and discretion like a silent river carving its path through the landscape. By not leaving a trail of your plans and strategies, you maintain an element of surprise and protect the sanctity of your journey. Consider the story of the ancient Stoic philosopher Seneca. He once said, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Seneca's wisdom reminds us that the courage to let go of what no longer serves us can often be more challenging than pursuing the goal itself. Yet it is in this act of letting go that we find our true path. As you navigate through life, remember to guard your strategies and let your actions be a reflection of your authentic self. Seek the path that resonates most deeply with who you are, and in doing so, you'll find clarity and purpose. Remember, <coughs> the most profound victories are often won in silence and with a heart aligned with one's true nature. Finally, remember that in your stoic journey, letting go of unnecessary goals is not just a decision, but a valuable lesson. Learn to listen to your heart to shed what no longer fits, and you will find tranquility and strength to continue on your path with courage and sincerity. Let's talk about relationships. We often encounter the delicate terrain of relationships, be it in the realm of friendship or romance. This brings us to a crucial point, the handling of intimate details and the aftermath of relationships. Stoicism teaches us the virtue of discretion and the importance of internal reflection. Let's ponder over these questions. How can maintaining privacy in personal relationships lead to greater emotional well-being? 
What lessons can we learn about ourselves when we choose reflection over sharing? How does Stoicism guide us in dealing with the end of relationships with dignity and wisdom? Imagine you're at the end of a friendship or a romantic relationship. It's a natural inclination to want to share, to vent about what went wrong. But Stoicism invites us to a different approach. The intimacy and moments shared belong uniquely to you and the other person. Broadcasting these details to others not only disrespects that privacy, but also fuels unnecessary gossip and complications. Remember, not everyone needs nor has the right to know the intricacies of your personal disputes. When the urge to share surges, it's often a signal of unhealed wounds a call from within to introspect. Stoicism encourages us to turn inwards, to have a conversation with ourselves, reflect on what happened, and analyze the behaviors and emotions involved. This introspection is a powerful tool for healing and growth. Let's talk about dealing with problematic relationships. Remove the relationship if it's harmful, but do so quietly without the fanfare of public announcement. This approach not only preserves the dignity of all involved, but also fosters your emotional well-being. It's in this quiet space of privacy and internal dealing that acceptance and healing blossom. As Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This quote resonates deeply with our discussion. By focusing on our internal responses and maintaining discretion, we exercise control over our minds, leading to a more serene and resilient spirit. In summary, Stoicism teaches us that in the face of relationship endings, wisdom lies in privacy and internal reflection. By preserving the sanctity of intimate details and focusing on personal healing, we align ourselves with the Stoic principles of discretion, dignity, and emotional resilience. These lessons, timeless in their wisdom, are profoundly relevant in our modern lives, guiding us to navigate the complexities of relationships with grace and Stoic calm. In the midst of life's inevitable tensions, it's crucial to maintain a composed demeanor especially in the presence of others. Raising your voice or displaying overt frustration and anger not only disrupts your inner peace, but also affects those around you. When you find yourself upset, channel this energy into actions that are constructive and align with your life goals. This approach is not just about controlling emotions, but transforming them into a force that propels you forward. It's about training your body and mind to handle stress with resilience and strength. In these moments, remember the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, the best remedy for anger is delay this wisdom encourages us to pause, reflect, and then act with intention rather than impulsiveness. By containing and reflecting on your emotions, you can redirect this energy into endeavors that fortify you both mentally and physically. However, it's important to navigate these situations with caution and discretion. Losing control can inadvertently reveal vulnerabilities. During these tense moments, strive to alleviate this tension in a discreet manner, focusing on resolving issues and fulfilling responsibilities. Use reasoning as your ally ally and avoid broadcasting your difficulties. Instead, cherish what and who you have in your life, fostering a sense of gratitude. Seek ways to quietly relieve emotional pressure, aiming for internal balance and adopting healthier approaches to life's challenges. Incorporating these practices into your life is a testament to your commitment to personal growth and change. If you resonate with this message, I encourage you to engage with our community. Leave a comment to share your journey, hit the like button, and subscribe for more insightful content. Together. Let's continue on this path of self-improvement and resilience. Let's talk about withholding judgment. In our journey through the Stoic path, we often encounter the challenge of managing our perceptions and interactions with others. This brings us to a crucial aspect of Stoicism, the art of withholding judgment. Imagine you're in a conversation and the topic shifts to someone you have strong opinions about. It's tempting to share these judgments, isn't it? But let's pause and reflect. What impact does sharing such opinions have on our character and the atmosphere around us? The Stoics teach us the value of self-awareness and the impact of our words. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, once said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This aligns with our fifth point, avoid sharing your judgments about others. 
More importantly, we should strive not to even harbor negative opinions in our consciousness. When we speak ill of someone, we're not just tarnishing their image, we're also revealing a part of our character. Is this the image we wish to project? Instead, let's channel our energy into constructive dialogue. If we find ourselves disliking someone, it's an opportunity to practice stoic diplomacy. We can maintain a respectful distance or seek a tolerable coexistence. The key is to act intelligently and adaptively, embracing the stoic principle of empathy and respect in our interactions. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic sage, advised, whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question, what fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? This introspection helps us discard hasty judgments and fosters a more harmonious environment. In summary, Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of our perceptions and expressions about others. By practicing restraint in our judgments and fostering empathetic and respectful interactions, we contribute to a more harmonious world. This lesson from Stoicism is profoundly relevant in our modern lives, where quick judgments and harsh words are all too common. Let us remember that our words and actions are reflections of our inner selves, and by embodying Stoic principles, we can navigate life with more serenity and understanding. Let's talk about comparison. Our path is uniquely ours, distinct and separate from everyone else's. Imagine walking through a forest where every tree, though part of the same woodland, grows at its own pace in its own direction. Just like these trees, we each have our own growth trajectory, our own successes and our own challenges. Now, let's talk about a common pitfall. Many of us encounter the habit of comparing ourselves to others. This is a trap that can significantly affect our emotional well-being and impede our personal growth. When we measure our lives against others, we often end up feeling inadequate, focusing on perceived shortcomings rather than appreciating our own achievements. It's like trying to measure the beauty of a rose using the scale of a sunflower. It simply doesn't make sense. This constant comparison can blur our vision, making us lose sight of our own goals and aspirations. It's like walking on a path or constantly looking at someone else's map. You'll never reach your destination that way. Instead of being preoccupied with what others have or achieve, it's far more beneficial to concentrate on our own journey, our learning and our personal development. Let's take a leaf from the book of the great Stoic philosopher Seneca, who once said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality this is particularly true when we compare ourselves to others. We imagine their lives to be perfect, their paths free of obstacles, which is seldom the case. So as we navigate through life, let's focus on cultivating gratitude for our own circumstances and celebrating our own progress. Remember, each of us is on a unique journey with different strengths and challenges. By embracing our individual paths and focusing on our personal growth, we can find true contentment and fulfillment. To wrap up, Let's take this lesson to heart to avoid the trap of comparison. Instead, cherish your own journey, focus on your growth, and remember, in the grand tapestry of life, your thread is as vibrant and important as anyone else's. This is the key to not just surviving, but thriving in the ever-changing landscape of life. Let's talk about conscious use of social media. Your life is an enthralling book brimming with captivating tales, wisdom, and adventures. Now picture social media as a vast library teeming with countless other narratives shared incessantly. Intriguing, isn't it? Yet here's the catch, the peril of perpetual comparison. As we peruse these digital tales, glossy pages, we often juxtapose our most arduous chapters against others' highlight reels. This comparison, typically unfair and unrealistic, can spiral us into discontent and jealousy. Can you see the potential harm in light of this, mastering the art of limiting our digital story consumption becomes crucial. Imagine visiting this virtual library with a definitive purpose. You step in, seek precisely what you need, be it connection, inspiration or information, and then promptly exit, returning to the reality of your own narrative, the story of your life. But how do we implement this? 
Begin by setting specific times for social media engagement rather than succumbing to its lure at every turn. Whether it's during breakfast or work break or before bed, this structure prevents social media from monopolizing your time and thoughts. Another potent tactic is introspection about each online interaction's motive. Question yourself, is this a constructive pursuit or merely time frittering? Such contemplation helps distinguish meaningful engagement from aimless scrolling. It's also vital to heed signs of social media impairing your mood or self-esteem. Feeling disheartened post you signals it's time for a hiatus. Utilize this interval to rekindle joy and fulfillment in tangible activities like immersing in a book, indulging in a hobby, or savoring nature's tranquility. By embracing these habits, you safeguard your mental well-being and reacquaint with the splendor of your personal saga free from the incessant urge to compare with others. Remember, each life path is distinct, peppered with peaks and troughs, victories and obstacles, rendering every story, yours included, invaluable and unique. As we conclude this discourse, ponder unscripting your life's forthcoming chapter today with diminished digital world sway and heightened focus on life's genuine essence. Let's embark on this odyssey of self-exploration and growth together. Seize control of your existence, armed with the sagacity of history's profoundest philosophers. Stoicism in the 21st century is your compass to resilience, well-being, and prosperity. Transform adversities into victories, stress into fortitude, and ambiguity into lucidity. Please leave your shares in the comment section below and commence your stoic voyage towards a life replete with success and contentment. Let's talk about the pursuit of external approval. Picture yourself on a stage, bathed in a harsh spotlight, surrounded by a sea of faces, each one eager to judge your every move. Feel the weight of their expectations dictating how you should act, speak and exist. This is the suffocating reality of living for others' approval. But now imagine stepping off that stage into a tranquil sanctuary where the only voice that matters is your own. This shift symbolizes the stoic ideal of valuing your inner voice over the cacophony of societal expectations. Remember, when we chase others' approval, we lose ourselves and our true desires in the process. It's akin to wearing a costume that never fits solely to please the crowd. Reflect on the moments you felt truly content Weren't there times when you were in harmony with your values, irrespective of external opinions? This is the core of authentic living. If you found value in our discussion today and feel inspired by the principles of Stoicism we've explored, I invite you to join our growing community. By subscribing to our channel, you'll receive more insightful content that guides you on a path of self-improvement, resilience and wisdom. Your subscription not only supports our mission to spread timeless philosophical wisdom, but also ensures you stay connected with thought-provoking discussions and practical tips for a more serene and fulfilling life. Hit the subscribe button now, and let's continue this journey of growth and transformation together.